Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brands Beer Redley and Lug. I also occasionally, rarely, do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang so, out. So today's video is a very special one and it's I was going to try to make this a true unboxing, but I have zero patience, so I already opened it, and I'm just going to have to show y'all what was in it, but before I actually show y'all what was in this box, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's this huge box full of stuff. I kind of have to tell you how I came to be in possession of this box first. So, since I've made my YouTube channel, I feel like I've gained so many friends through my channel, honestly. Um, I think that y'all have heard, you know, several of us talk about how awesome this community is and all of that. And that's, that's wholeheartedly true. Um, but since I made my channel, I've really gotten to know quite a few of y'all. There are, you know, there are some of y'all that always comment on my videos and we get to chat back and forth and I absolutely love that. And there are some of y'all that have taken the time out to email me and get to know me more and things like that and I really appreciate that. So one of those people, I'm sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath, you guys, we all caught the flu again, my daughter, my husband, and myself, and I'm still the I'm still trying to recover. I still feel awful. So, just bear with me as I try to get through this. But, um, so one of the people that I really, you know, connected with and built this friendship with is an amazing lady named Michelle. And she lives way up north in Canada. And her and I were chatting one day. And she was talking to me about a bag that she had been really interested in. But she couldn't get it because they didn't ship to Canada. And I said, well, I'll get it for you. Like, I'll go ahead and buy it and I'll, like, forward it to you. I'll have it shipped to me and then I'll send it to you. And I'm not sure if she thought that I was really going to do that or not. <laughs> but I did. When the bag showed up available for purchase again, I went ahead and bought it. I sent it on up to her. And I, I put a few extra things in there because... She um, she had mentioned that she liked Vera Bradley as well, but she didn't have a lot of access to it because even though Vera Bradley is now selling internationally, from what I have been told and what I've observed, um, even though it's available for international purchase now, that doesn't really mean that it's the most accessible because shipping costs a fortune and, you know, there are just... There are kind of obstacles in the way to be able to get very much of it. So, the bag that she ordered when it showed up, I just opened the main box. I made sure it was the correct item inside there. And then I put her a few little extra things in there. I put her um, a Carson shoulder bag in there and a few accessory pieces because I thought, well, I'm already sending it. So, I'm going to include a little bit of, you know, a little gift in there for her. Well, from my understanding, she received it. She was super happy with everything, all of that. And we were chatting a little bit after that. And she had mentioned how she was trying to clean out some of her collection because she had so much built up. And I said, oh, well, what are you getting rid of? Just, you know, off the cuff, you're talking to your friends. You say, what are you getting rid of? So she starts showing me and I was like, oh, well, I'll take that. I'll take that. I like that one. And I like that one. And so she gave me a phenomenal price. She put everything in a big box and she shipped it to me. So I paid her for everything the same as she had paid me, you know. But she also included some extra stuff in my box. And you guys, I was absolutely blown away. Blown away. She put me to shame with the little gifts that I put in her box. She absolutely put me to shame. 
there's so many amazing things in there that she put and it was just so incredibly thoughtful of her so Michelle I can't thank you enough you are absolutely awesome I yeah I just I can't thank you enough I told her that I'm glad that I didn't do the actual unboxing on film because I looked like a blubbering emotional mess because I was opening everything and listen you guys she wrapped everything so nicely in the in this lug tissue paper that had one of my favorite prints on it and she put things in these cute little boxes girl when I sent her stuff up there I just put it in the box I didn't wrap anything <laughs> So she way, way out in me. Like, that's an understatement of the century. But it's just amazing. It was amazing. But I told her, I said, I'm glad I didn't do the actual unboxing on camera. Because I was like, I had the tears. And I was like, telling my husband, I was like, you can, look, look what she put in here. She's so sweet. And my husband was like, holy shit. <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> I am going to get into that and I'm going to show you guys everything that she sent, what I bought, all of that. But first, really quickly, I did get the new lug, uh, what was this called? The tackle set. And I wanted to show that to you really quickly, just for anybody that was curious about maybe the sizing. So, I purchased three of these actually. I got one in violet, one in love stripe multi, and then I the other one I picked was the paws black. But I didn't get paws black. They sent me a peekaboo in flourish blue. So I have to take care of that now. But sure. Okay, so the tackle set is a four piece pouch set. We all know I love pouches. So, the largest one is a clear pouch. But, all of them, the way that they are sewn down here, it gives them a little bit of a base. Now, this one where it's that plastic, it's a little bit harder to make it, I don't know, sit flat. But it is designed in a way that you're supposed to have some depth to the base here. It's not supposed to be completely flat. So, then you have three more and none of these are clear so you have your small your medium your large and then your extra large clear so if you're curious about the size of these really quickly here is a Metro XL this is the one that I've been in for ever and ever and ever the smallest pouch in this set is just a little bit different than the Metro XL. So it's a little bit shorter lengthwise, but it's a little bit taller. And it also, like the rest of them, is sewn in a way to give it a little bit of depth, if you can see that. So these, none of these have quilting on them. They are just fabric. They all have the two little loops on the ends. So, it's just a pouch set. Um, I'm glad I got a few just to give them a try. I love pouches, so I'm sure I'll put them to good use. But, that is the tackle set. Okay, now let's get into this massive box of stuff. I'm going to show you... I think all of the items that she just included and sent me first and then I'll show you the items I actually picked up from her so the first thing that she sent me was this giant thing of candy bars and the only one that I know of that we can get here is the Kit Kat the other three in there I had never tried so my kids and my husband and I have all kind of went crazy over those. Um, yeah, I've had two in all fairness, but you can see how much is already gone. <laughs> so that was a huge win in our house. The giant box of candy bars. 
Now, I don't remember exactly how she had all of this wrapped because as I said, my patients ran out and I couldn't wait anymore, but she had everything fixed up so nicely, so pretty. And some of it was in this box. This is a little magnetic box. How cute! You guys know how crazy I went over the other box that that lady shipped my stuff in. And I thought this was absolutely adorable. And I love this little magnetic closure right here. You can see the little magnets right there and right there. I love this. I love the little box as much as I love everything else. So inside here, she sent me, I'm not sure. Michelle, you'll have to let me know because I forgot to ask you. Did you intend the pineapple stuff for my daughter or me? Because my daughter absolutely goes crazy over pineapple stuff. And I'll show you here in just a second how much. So, um, she sent me this little lip gloss. It's the pineapple lip balm. How cute is that? She sent me two new hand sanitizers, the vanilla coconut and iced cinnamon rolls. Oh no, three, I apologize. And Japanese cherry blossom. And those were all in this cute little bag. And then she also sent me the, it's called Rebels Refinery, the pineapple hand sanitizer. There was a third one in here, but um, my daughter already kind of stole that one. It was lemongrass. She loves it. My daughter is trying to get her hands on all of these. She can't, uh, she can't stand it that she, that there's two more in here she doesn't have yet. But she sent me those. And then she also sent me this cute, cute insulated cup. And she filled it with, oops. What in the world? Oh, there we go. But she sent me this cute little um, insulated cup and put the little coffees in there to go with it. How dang thoughtful is that, you guys? Like, I'm, I can't believe all of the stuff that she put in there. I just thought it was so cute. So I set those down in this box to keep them together. And then she put some of my other stuff in another big box in here that I can't lift out yet. But look how cute. It's a little Christmas, you know, it's got cats all over it. How cute. So starting with some of the items, I bought, y'all, I'll be honest, I can't even remember what I actually bought and what she just sent me, so I'm just going to show you all of it. So the first handbag type item is this little pouch, and she showed me this and I absolutely love it. Again, I love pouches. This reminds me of the Coach Nolita, so if you're familiar with that, this is very, very similar. It'll unclip on this one side right here, if I can show you that. You can take it off and put it on one side for a wristlet or put it back on this other side for like a little mini handbag type thing. I don't think this one is real leather, but I don't care. It's so nice. It feels so nice. And I will use the ever loving you know what out of this one. So I had never heard of this brand, but I just liked it. So there's the brand name on that one. Next, I got my first canoe from her. And this one is in plaid gray. So I had never purchased one of these or tried them. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with them. And I'm just behind the times. But this opens up and you can fold it down. I have seen them. I had just never purchased one yet. So you can fold it down and then inside here, I think it was made for makeup brushes. Like you can put your little makeup brushes in those little slots, but I won't do that. I'll probably use this for pens and pencils, honestly, because I have way more art supplies than uh, 
makeup supplies. And then on the back of this, there's like a D ring that you can hang it off something or clip it on something or whatever you want to do. But that's my first canoe. Next, I got the pink and purple paddle set from her. I already had the gray and black one, or black and gray, whichever whichever one it is, I'm not sure. But I love these. I, put, I, I like the smaller piece better than the larger one because I haven't quite figured out what to do with my other large size one just yet. But this smaller one makes a fantastic wristlet catch-all for your larger totes, however you want to do it. So it's got this little wristlet strap on it and inside you get they have a base like a actual firmish firmish firm base <laughs> they have two cargo pockets and then a clear view zip pocket inside and they're just a great size you just have this open space inside there they have good amount of organization for a little piece. I love these. And then the bigger one has the D-ring, but you only get the one wristlet strap. And then inside here, you again have the two cargo pockets. And you have that clear view pocket, but on this one, the clear view pocket is one zipper Oops, I zipped it up. It's one zipper, but two separate um, little sections there. So, these are really, really neat. Really, really handy. If you don't have a set yet, I recommend them. At least the smaller piece, for sure. And if y'all have ideas on how to use this larger piece, let me know. But that is the next item I got. The paddle set. Next, I got my very first splits xl in flamingo mint y'all know how crazy i went over the flamingo blue i had to get the flamingo mint too because look at that those teals and purples and pinks that's gorgeous so i'm sure that y'all know what the splits xl is this is my first one so you have an id window and one two three four card slots there big slip behind ink uh pen pocket big spot I think this one is for your phone if you want to fit it in there oh yeah my phone fits in there nicely and then the back side oh you also have the removable wristlet and then on the back side you have a bunch of card slots a bunch of card slots more card slots more card slots and then a big gusseted change pocket on the back so I'm in general not a big wallet kind of person but to get this flamingo mint I'll be a big wallet person so that's the splits XL in flamingo mint next I got my very first coupe and it is a vegan leather coupe XL in navy. So this is a lot of firsts for me in one. So this is my first vegan leather piece, my first coupe, first coupe XL. Yeah. So I figured as much as people raved about these daggone things, I should get one and try it. So again, I said this is the vegan leather coupe XL in navy. It comes with the traditional fabrication strap there. It's not a perfect match, but it works. So this front section on this one is just an open pocket. Nothing else in there. It's just a good sized pocket. And then on the back, or the back zipper section, you have an ID window on the front side of that pocket and then a zip pocket on the back side and it says 
It says Coop XL on that tag, but I don't know if you'll be able to read it. And it's just a very simple kind of pouch with a strap. You can turn it into a belt bag. It's got those loops right there. It's a neat little piece. I have to say, after getting this though, I'm not sure that I think this actually feels like real leather because it doesn't feel like real leather to me, but I like it. I'm glad I got it. And then last but not least, the last item that I purchased from her, and actually, in all fairness, I think this is the only thing that I actually bought from her. I picked out the other items as well. I picked out the Coop XL, the Splits XL, um, the paddle set. I picked all that out. But to be honest with you guys, I don't think that I actually paid for it. I don't think she charged me for it, is what I'm trying to say. I think this was the only thing she charged me for. And the rest of everything that I have shown you guys, she pretty much just gave it to me. And sent it to me. So, like I said again, Michelle, you are amazing. You are so sweet and so generous that I just, I truly can't thank you enough. You, um... Yeah, you blew my mind with this one. So, this is called the Fossil Fiona Satchel. And I love Fossil. As a brand, they make amazing leather products. Truly. If you don't have a Fossil bag, I highly recommend. So, if you're familiar with, like, the Louis Vuitton Speedy, this is pretty much that exact same basic, you know, shape and size. On the back, you have a slip pocket right here. Here's my phone case. Oops. It fits in there fine. You have your two shorter little satchel grab handles there. On the front, you have the little fossil brass key charm that most of their bags come with. And then on each side, you have a little D-ring because this does come with an adjustable, removable crossbody strap. And I'm not sure, I think this is showing up a little bit brighter than it actually is. This is kind of a true mustard yellow color. And I used to not be a yellow person at all, but I love this. I think this is so cute. I, I love it, genuinely. So, your zipper zips down pretty much all the way on both sides. And it pulls open and has these really nice gussets. Um, I actually, hold on. <laughs> I put a bag organizer in here because I have a few other bags that are this size and shape. And as much as I love them, it drives me crazy when I go to fill them up because they want to collapse in on themselves. And the little bag organizers just help them keep their shape so they don't do that. So, anywho, on the inside, you get a zip pocket along the back wall there. And on the front, you have two slip pockets. If I can show you there. <laughs> it's just a great sized bag. You can fit so much in here, and it's a phenomenal quality. Like I said, Fossil, as far as a leather bag goes, they are fantastic. So, so that was everything that I ordered, everything that she sent me. I just, I can't thank you enough, Michelle. You are awesome. I, yeah. I have no words. Um, you left me speechless when I opened this box. It was packed up so beautifully and so nicely and you were so kind and so thoughtful with everything that you sent. But yeah, well you've seen the giant grin on my face the entire time I've been doing this. So I have to shut up and quit before I just continue to gush and gush. So that is my video for today, y'all. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that it was a little bit entertaining for you. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or you just want to say hello, then as always, please leave me a message down below because I love to chat with you guys. 
And don't forget that if you want to take part in my upcoming video where we talk about my very first Vera Bradley bag or your my favorite Vera Bradley bag and you want to submit some pictures of your first or favorite handbag. It doesn't have to be Vera Bradley either. If you would rather it be your favorite lug or your first lug, send me that and we'll include that too. So if you want to take part in that, don't forget to send me an email with some pictures and a little story about how you got into it or how you ended up with that first bag or your favorite one. So I want to shut up for now and I hope that you guys are having a fantastic week and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.